Good morning, everyone. Connor 500, professional gambler. On the very first day of a new month, it's April now, March is over. Thanks a lot for coming along. Hope you're all doing really well. It's the first of April today. I've just had the call that I've been expecting from some time, Racing TV. They phoned me up on the blower this morning. They said, Connor, we've been watching your videos for a while now. You're exactly what we want on this channel. We're going to send Lydia around in the limo. There's no more luck on Sunday. It's now 500 on Sunday. It's me going through the best handicaps of the week and having a go at anyone that tips in anything else but handicaps. This is a bit embarrassing. They've asked me to tell Nick Luck, you had a good run, mate. You had a good run. The time's over. All good things come to an end. It's Connor 500's time on racing TV. Let's get into it today. We've got one race today that's far better than the rest. I could have I could have done one three star and stuck in a couple of one stars with it for a Trixie or something. I didn't want to. I wanted to get two horses in the best race of the day. I know not a lot of people would do that, but I've got to get the margin for the channel. I'm always thinking of a long term margin. The best race of the day by far is the 450 at Newbury. Okay, I've got two horses in this race. And if you, I'm going to be honest, you're better off, this is a race to dig around in. Attack the short end of the market. Okay, you can look deeper than I can. I've gone Arthur's Seat 16 to 1 and Come On Gruff 9 to 1. I've got 100 each way Arthur's Seat and 150 each way Come On Gruff. I've got to take SP because of the channel rules. Guys, I know that's not the most popular bet, but margin wise, ROI wise for the, for the long term in the year, that's the best, honestly is the best. And I've got to say, even if you looked around for a third horse in that race, you're better off than anything else. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll speak to you later.